Hello, it's Julie from the Scrappy Tree here, and I am just going to show you um, a little bit, um, basically our blog post in video today. Um, the blog post today at the Scrappy Tree um, is just kind of about, I don't know, I guess improving my art, and basically just playing around, having fun with the process of creating. And so that's what I've been doing. And I used to shy away from any sort of image, any stamp that required coloring, basically, um, because I just didn't like the way it came out. If you hear that in the background, I have someone, um, I have a little guy eating crackers in the background, and he likes, he's at the age where, hey, I can kick my feet and make a lot of noise on it. So anyway, that's what you're going to probably hear in the background. Can you say, no, no. There you go. Nope. Yeah. Okay. You're going to hear that a lot probably. Anyway, I got these um, images because I've been working on using my Inktense pencils, which I love. I just rounded out my collection and using um, my Copics as well. Um, so those are things that I've been working on. And my first thing that I did, I stamped them out. I've stamped out a lot of these girls. Um, I stamped them out. This is on uh, Nina White cardstock, and that will be for uh, Copic use. And then I also stamped some on watercolor paper, and I thought I would try the Inktense pencils with those. Um, the first thing I did try were the Inktense pencils. And you're going to see I kind of struggled. <laughs> Look at that one on the left. The one on the left, yikes. The, the skin color did not come out very well. And I don't think the skin color on the right one came out very well either. So overall, I didn't really find an Inktense pencil that really gave me what I wanted for the skin. Um, so instead, I ended up using, woo, hello, um, I ended up using my peach gelato. And I just kind of used uh, my water brush direct, directly to it. And then I applied the color on a face. And then I used this brown, and this brown came in, I think it was a neutral set, the very first set of gelatos that I bought. It came in a set of four, um, but then I bought the larger um, all-color case at the time, and it did not have this in it. And this one doesn't have a name, so I'm not sure if they make this color anymore. I haven't seen it in any other... Um, any other sets so this may have been a one-time deal but anyway this is a light brown and I used it on this girl here she um, she is done with the Inktense pencils and the gelato f for the skin so like I said I used the peach gelato and I put that down first and then I did just um, if I can get a little closer you might be able to see it a little bit kind of around her hairline, you might see, and around the sides of her face, you might see a little bit of brownish there. That is where I used that brown again. I used it sparingly, and then I just kind of blended it in, and then I did peach on top of it again. And you can see I still need um, some work with my Inktense techniques too, and my I need to go back and probably um, right by the wand there. I need to add a little bit more color from her hair, and I need to also add some more color right in that spot by the bang. I didn't really want to go in there with brown, but the peach is just not enough color. So anyway, it's uh, it's playing, it's experimenting. And I'm also, whoops, I'm gonna drop her, and then I probably drop her on the floor. I probably did, okay. Anyway, she's kind of gone unless you want to uh, follow me on the floor, and that's gonna be the best. Anyway. I need to also fix her um, skin a little bit. She had one spot of pink or purple from her dress that kind of got on her arm. And the gelato will cover that if I go back over it um, because it will go right on top of the Inktense pencil. Um, Inktense pencils are, once they're dry, permanent. Gelatos, same thing. So you can layer color on top of color and it'll work out. Um, so anyway, that was my Inktense um, trial. And again, I'm not fond of the skin color at all. I can't find a good blend yet. So I'll have to try and keep playing with that and see what I come up with. Okay, next I worked on, excuse me here, excuse me, reach. I worked on my Copics. This is my Copic chart. And um, on the right side, those are the Spectrum Noir markers I have that I'm not fond of, but they're there. Um, mostly 
for my Copic coloring for skin, I did E50, E51, and E53. So I kind of went right in order. And then a little blush was R20. Okay, so that's just kind of what I used for her. And then I used um, some purples. And here she is. Again, hi, buddy. Again, she's something I need to work on. I need to work on my hair coloring skills. Oh, what's wrong, sweetie? I have help. And, of course, my videos are always too long and usually can't have happy people for too long, like beyond two minutes probably. But there we go. Let's see. Okay, sorry. Okay, we're just kind of giving him a toy there that he dropped. Okay. <clears throat> so this is my Copic um, girl. And she is done. I, I think she kind of came out nice. Um, I tried to do um, some shading. But again, I need to, I think I need to work on the skin, oh, maybe with blending a little bit better. And I need to work on my hair. I've got a little bit of highlights in here, but not as much as I wanted. I've really been working on, um, a lot of people do a feathering technique for the hair. And I haven't quite mastered the whole flicking exactly right yet. Um, so anyway, that's something that I will have to work on. And it will be kind of a fun process to do that. Um, so with all my coloring experimentation today, or actually last night, I didn't really have a chance to make any cards or anything with these images, but hopefully that will be something I can show you next week, and I'll have more of these girls colored yeah. hopefully by next week. Yeah. So thanks for stopping yeah. by today, and we will see you next yeah. time. Hopefully you enjoy your process of crafting, whatever crafting you may be doing. Have a great day.